Okay, so I had a comment on this video. I'll just search for it with Control F and pop in something from the search. Arnett. There we go. So Arnett 40, awesome videos and great work on this. Would you be able to do a video on overclocking Ubuntu Mate or list the steps? Been trying to figure it out, but all I can find is how to do it using Raspbian. Well, it's pretty much the same in every operating system. Uh, so if I come out of that, on my NAS drive, I've got a little text file I use, uh, which is in here, uh, overclock.txt. So, and I'll put this text in the description of the video. Um, now, overclocking, do it at your own risk. There's a great article on Tom's hardware, which I'll link. Uh, in fact, I'll show you it here. Uh, this is one that I used, uh, and I think there was, there was a previous one to this but it goes through all the risks and things like that. Uh, there was one with the table, and if I can find the table, I'll pop it up on the screen, which shows you how much over voltage to use, because when you're overclocking, you need a bit more power to be added to the Pi, which is gonna generate more heat, so you're gonna need adequate cooling. Now I'm using the uh, DeSalvo case, the passive aluminium case at the moment, and I'm overclocked to, uh, let's have a look, Uh, 2.2 at the moment and the temperature is I thought it was on here but it's up here uh, so yeah 42 degrees so so it's cool at the moment it hasn't been on for more than about 20 minutes or in fact like 18 minutes that like uptime so what we need to do is get the SD card with Ubuntu mate on it and pop that into a little USB adapter and then pop that in the pie and if we close these down for now, uh, you can see what's happened. On the left hand side, we've got system boot and writable. System boot is where you're going to find the config.txt. So double click on that. And you don't normally get this, but uh, this is probably because this is on view all files. That's config.txt, but you can see it's a hidden file because it's got these little symbols before it. So look down a bit and you'll find config.txt. So if I open that up, I can close this now. So here we are, on the right hand side I've got the config.txt, on the left hand side I've got my overclocking instructions. Now this top line uh, is nothing to do with overclocking, in fact so is this one. Uh, the top line is uh, to force your Pi to go to 1080, uh, which if you've got a 4K TV is definitely worth doing because you don't want to run the Pi operating system uh, at 4K, it's, it will just be too slow. The next line down is disable underscore overscan, and that gets rid of the black lines. You know, you sometimes get the lines top and bottom. So the next three lines are to do with overclocking, and I've got two lots here. I've got one at 2000 and one at 2147, both with the same over voltage. I've played around with the over voltage. So basically, if you, if you overclock uh, and it's safer to stay under six, six and under, uh, because you're not going to invalidate the warranty on your Pi. Uh, I've been right up to, I think, 11 or 12 on one of my Pis, uh, and it's been fine, but each Pi is, is ever so slightly different. There's th something called the silicon lottery, which means that some can be overclocked more than others. Uh, so I would say, for safety, I would, for me, I would go for 2 gigahertz very, very easily. Uh, but again, do this at your own risk. There is a, a slight chance that you could brick your Pi, um, but I've done it loads of times on loads of different operating systems. So I'm going to copy this and pop it. doesn't matter where you put this. So I usually put it somewhere near the top just because it's easy to find. Uh, so let's pop it in there. And I, and you don't need to do this, but I usually put some space in because, uh, again, when you're looking at it to see if it's overclocked, it's easier to see uh, where you are with there's a space in there. I think it all looks a bit jumbled without it uh, and then the overclocking Now I don't usually bother to put a space between these so you can see over voltage 6 arm frequency 2000 GPU frequency 750 so I save that file and save and That's it. That's overclocked so now if I eject that by going to eject and eject. Now I've got another um, version of mate, so I'm gonna do that one at 2147. So I'll pop that in. This is my uh, eight gig 
version of Mate which uh, I used and, and did an upload. So there's a you can download a version of this. I deliberately didn't overclock it because uh, some people might use it and they haven't got any cooling at all and it would overheat. So let's do the same again. System boot. Don't know why I closed down the text file. Uh, and then I need to find my text file, which is in here. Config.text. Again, let's just close that down, just keep it tidy. And there's no overclock in here at the moment. So I'll do the 2147 on this one. Again, doesn't really matter where it is. And also, if you see anything with a hash, it means it's not going to do anything. So anything that's in here, if you remove the hash, uh, it will enable it. So you can see these, these are enabled, this is enabled, but these aren't enabled. So let's save that and close that down. And let's reboot with uh, the first one, which was my... Uh, original Ubuntu Mate desktopify version. Okay, so you can see on the top bar it says 2 gigahertz. Uh, it will flick between 600 megahertz and 2 gigahertz, but that shows that it has been overclocked. Okay, so let's close that down and start the other one up. Okay, so I'm just booting up the other version, the 8 gig version, and uh, it's come up with this error. Now, it's stopped and it isn't going any further so maybe it won't let me overclock it this high so let's switch that off okay we're back on Raspbian now let's pop the USB stick in and open up system boot look for the config.txt file so yeah 2147 is there so I'm just going to drop it down to 2 gigahertz and save that. Okay, so let's try that with uh, 2 gigahertz instead of 2147 on the same card. This is where it gets stuck on the other one. Yeah, it's already gone past it because the font slightly changes. So, uh, on an SD card, uh, for some reason my Ubuntu Mate doesn't like to go beyond well, I haven't tried anything in between, but it doesn't like to go as high as 2147, uh, which I, I'll try it on Berry Boot. Uh, Berry Boot is a multi-boot uh, operating system launcher, and I have converted Ubuntu Mate to work with that. We'll just check that this definitely, well, there you go. So that, that's definitely worked. Uh, so if I go to log in, there you go, and that launches up. So I'm going to switch over to Berry Boot, and I've got a whole playlist on Berry Boot, which is a multi-operating system launcher, and it's great. Okay, so now it's booting from an SSD drive. I'm going to hit Edit Menu on here, uh, and go to Edit Config, and the same sort of thing that we've been seeing on other operating systems on SD card, you have all of this. In fact, I haven't got any overclocking in there. Sure I had overclocking in there. Okay, so let's add some overclocking then and see what happens if I go right up to 2147. So I've added in over voltage equals 6, arm frequency equals 2147, and GPU frequency equals 750. I did it manually this time because I can't link to my NAS drive. So let's hit OK on that. And let's just go back in just to see that that's saved. Yeah, so that's saved in there. So let's see if we can boot uh, Berry Boot. So that's this one. So that's default and exit and that will restart in Berry Boot. So you can see it's going to boot on its own but I'll click on boot to speed it up. And this uh, pauses for quite a while, this Berry Boot version of Ubuntu Mate. Uh, so I'll skip past that. Okay, so it's going past the bit where it stops. Yeah, it's going to boot up. So let's have a look. Yeah, that 2.15. So that's weird. If anybody knows why that would be, uh, that it would boot. I know that Berry Boot uses a slightly different kernel, um, and it and it works in a different way to the SD card. 
Uh, and so I guess it could be something to do with that. But yeah, so I've, I've got a 2.15 or 2.147 overclock uh, on Pi 4 running Ubuntu Mate Desktopify version. I hope this all helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.